Hi everyone, it's Veronica here from Vintage Meat Modern and I am very excited to have you join us this evening. Let's give everyone a moment to kind of tune on in and join us. Please welcome, say hello. It is the best and the most fun night of the week. It is Jewelry Party Wednesday, where we show you our latest collection of designer and vintage finds that have been sourced from all over the world. And all of our vintage finds are carefully curated to blend seamlessly with your modern wardrobe. So if it is your first time joining us, welcome. I'm Veronica Stout. I'm the founder of Vintage Meat Modern. I have worked in the accessories and the personal styling industry for over 20 years. And my love is helping women look and feel their best by dressing in details no dressing room required. So I'm very excited because we have an entire gorgeous tray of jewelry this evening. Lots of really beautiful, fun finds. And also I wanna give everyone a kind of a moment to kind of get on board with us and everything because we are going to be doing a giveaway tonight for gift cards to Vintage Meat Modern. Uh, all you have to do is play along with the game and then our very famous Mr. Michael will come and pull the Easter eggs at the end and tell you who won. So I am going to go ahead and let's take a look at the trays. And while we take a look at the trays and you can see what's new and exciting, I'm going to give you a minute to kind of have a good look at what we have here. Uh, and I would love for you to say hello and also, you know, start to have a look at what you are liking this evening. And then I'm also going to tell you all about how you can win this gift card to VMM. So we have a little bit of everything tonight. I can see that I have got our lovely friend Alicia joining us. Uh, we have got our lovely friend Sabrina joining us. So many of you are here tonight and I'm very excited to have you joining us. So let's if you are joining us live, please go ahead and say hello. Mr. Vintage Meat Modern is here. He's going to be answering your questions. We've got a lot of awesome things going on. And yes, this collection this week is absolutely beautiful. So let's first and foremost, let's talk to you about what my chic tip of the week is. This week's collection is all inspired by Mrs. Maisel, Kate Spade, and Frances Valentine. I don't know if you're familiar with their lines or not. I don't know if you're a fan of Mrs. Maisel. If you're not, you totally should be. Uh, all of these pieces are really fabulous sparkling pieces from like the 1950s era. And so I'm a huge Mrs. Maisel fan. Mr. Vintage Meat Modern is a huge Mrs. Maisel fan. Um, it's a great show. The fashion is totally on point. And so this week's collection is a little bit, it is definitely chic. It is definitely a little sassy. It is definitely a little spunky. And if you're also familiar with Frances Valentine, Rachel Brosnahan, actually from Mrs. Maisel, is actually sort of their signature girl. She was Kate Spade's niece, and she has decided to be the face of the brand. And so if you sort of love that eclectic style, I was looking through this and putting together this sort of gorgeous sort of lookbook type piece or this sort of mood board. And I thought to myself, these would be really great pieces that would complement that particular style. So my tip of you for the week is that don't go costumey. Just because we love that 1950s look, an easy way to be able to get that 1950s old Hollywood glam style is by wearing the jewelry. That's my tip. You don't have to wear a 1950s ball gown to still feel like you've got the glamour. Instead, put the jewelry on. And my other tip is don't be afraid to wear sets. Demi Perus or Perus were considered to be very opulent. So if you could wear all the pieces of a suite, it was actually considered to be something of a lot of elegance and distinction. So a lot of people, even though we sell many of the sets separately here, uh, because some people will say, well, I just want the necklace or I just want the earrings. I would say that if you are getting ready to go to some special events like Easter or maybe wedding or bridal showers or communions or graduations this season, set yourself apart from the rest by actually wearing the set. I assure you, people will ask you where you got it from. And as always, if you get it here at Vintage Meat Modern, you will be the only one that has it. So let's talk about that egg hunt now. All right, as you can see, I have got one two, three, four, 
Easter eggs, and all of them have inside of them a gift card code, and they also have a value. We're giving away one $25 gift card tonight, one $20 gift card tonight, and two $10 ones. And of course, here is the star of the show, Mr. Michael. He's going to be coming back at the end of tonight's show to open up the eggs and tell us what's inside of it. So thank you, my sir. In a little while, not quite yet, we have to give them a chance to answer then you can come pull the eggs. So here's how you play the game. It's really, really super easy. We have picked four numbers, one to 100, and all you need to do is in order to win, put down your guess at what number is inside the egg. And then if you are closest to it, you win. The only rule is you cannot put down more than one number. So did everybody hear that? You choose one number from one to 99, and the first person who uses that number. So if we've got doubles, there can't be like two 55s or things like that. The first person that puts 55 is the one that gets it if that is the number or close to the number that's inside. So that is the fun little Easter egg hunt that we have today. Like I said, we are giving away one $25 gift card, one $20 gift card, and two $10 gift card codes all to VMM. And all you need to do is while you're here on the live, tell us, what number is your guess? One chance. And if you get that number closest to what's inside the eggs at the night, we are going to email you the code so that you can add something pretty to your signature style and to your jewelry box. <coughs> now let's talk about some jewelry. So here we go. We have got an amazing collection tonight. Uh, we started off the evening right away this evening. I've got on a double strand pearl and Aurora Borealis necklace. But we have got some really fantastic Aurora Borealis pieces. We've got some really fabulous milk glass. Um, we have lots of questions about the really beautiful big blue aqua Aurora Borealis medallion brooch, which also has matching earrings. These absolutely phenomenal, I mean absolutely fantastic rose brooches that are a dipped painted enamel, but they are so pristine, they look like they are actually porcelain or glass, and there's no cracking or glazing to any of them, and they have the most dynamic, realistic, beautiful three-dimensional shape. We've got beautiful shades of pink, really fantastic, some Art Deco pieces, gorgeous roses, huge Diamante brooches, beautiful pearls, just a little bit of everything, and I know we've got some rings here too. So please, let's go ahead, let's open up the trays, and let's talk a little bit about some of the pieces that we have this evening. I'll start off right away with talking to you a little bit about that gorgeous blue set that so many people had questions on. So this is that gorgeous big blue brooch. This is the, uh, it's an aqua color, which has got also an Aurora Borealis with it. They're a nice large medallion style. Uh, they're, they are an unsigned Judy Lee. They've got a gorgeous riveted back. Uh, they've got a beautiful collection of sort of our marquee and then our pear cut or teardrop shape rhinestones. Uh, and it's got a very lovely layered look to it. And it's set in a really beautiful gold tone. The earrings are absolutely phenomenal. They are a great size and shape if you love a shape uh, statement earring. Let me go ahead and show you these on. This is because a lot of people were already asking about these. So they've got a huge sort of pinwheel medallion style to them. And then they've got this really nice larger size to them. Uh, very comfortable, extremely <laughs> dynamic, gorgeous coloring on them. Uh, it does have a nice shade of aqua, nice sort of blue tur turquoisey tone to it. But you could definitely be able to pull this off by wearing it with green blues and then more true blue blues and it would really make it stand out. We've got the huge brooch, which would be perfect uh, to wear at the center of a dress, to cap at the beginning of a cardigan like this and or off to the side. This is just a really <clears throat> fabulous piece. Tons and tons and tons of sparkle on this one. Michelle Martin's a fan of this aqua blue set. M Michelle, this would look so spectacular on you with your blonde hair. I mean, this would just be an absolute killer piece for you. Don't forget to guess. Don't forget to put down what your number is going it to be. Looks like many of them. We got a lot of people putting down numbers. <coughs> and Leanne is watching tonight. We also have a special guest. Everybody say hello to Leanne. She is joining us, not live uh, here in the studio, but virtually uh, from North Carolina, where she reigns from. Um, as you know, Leanne is the 
a tech genius. She is the darling behind the scenes here who keeps us up and running at Vintage Meat Modern. Uh, she handles all major malfunctions that Veronica cries about at night uh, with a lot of style and grace. And I know which pieces that she has her eye on. Uh, so somebody also tell Ms. Leanne she should treat herself to the beautiful shades of pink. So let's go on and let's talk about, so I had this very beautiful matte pearl necklace and to me, this piece is just so rose uh, from Mrs. Maisel. She wears a lot of double and uh, triple strand necklaces with her suits on the show. This is a pearl necklace with that classic 1950s Aurora Borealis. It's a great necklace to wear with, for example, the matte pearl earrings with the rhinestones that go with it, that they sort of have the little moon shape to them. Uh, they also go really lovely with your classic Aurora Borealis clusters. So if you just have some classic cluster Aurora Borealis earrings, this is perfect because it picks up on the crystal that you have in it. But we've also got some other pieces that we could make a gorgeous suite out of. Again, like I was saying, we have a sort of Mrs. Maisel inspired week going on here. Uh, another thing that Rose also commonly wears is she wears a brooch with her jacket with her triple strand. We have got this gorgeous long stemmed Aurora Borealis brooch that's got a combination of baguette <coughs> rhinestones on the stem, two marquees, and then tons and tons of little pave crystals that's set on it. This is a really fantastic one. It goes very nice with our Natalie Bijou Aurora Borealis earrings. Uh, these are also, these are a pierced. These are from the modern collection, but are inspired by the Aurora Borealis. So if you are just joining us and you prefer the pierced earrings to the clip, this is a nice way to be able to bring it all together. This brooch is fantastic. So this is the rose brooch. This is a nice one to be able to wear. Think already if you're beginning to think about Mother's Day, graduations. We've got all kinds of awesome things that are coming up this summer. So this is a great piece to be able to wear. It's got the Aurora Borealis, so you certainly can't say that it doesn't go with everything. It's a really awesome and it's a nice size, nice shape, really easy one to wear. Uh, and like I said, there's like 10 different kinds of earrings that you you can wear with it so don't hesitate to think that while you're scrolling through and you're looking at things that this wouldn't be a fabulous one to put with quite a couple of different pairs of earrings that we have here so we've got those really beautiful ones we also have got a very lovely larger milk glass brooch so we're talking also about things that you can really enjoy and you can wear with what you actually have hanging in your modern closet. And so a lot of the time this week, I've actually been talking about how great the milk glass pieces are because for one thing, they're not lucite, they're milk glass. So the texture, the definition, the way that you get up close to them, it's really high quality, beautiful design, different than the pieces that you find today commonly in the store. And it's very hard and difficult to find brooches too. You know, we had some milk glass and some white pieces that we were showing actually over at J. Crew, but they had everything except for the brooches. So this is a nice way of being able to wear white with classic black because you can never go wrong with that. The white actually looks really truly dynamic against bright yellow so if you love bright colors like magentas and yellows oranges and corals and things like that the milk glass looks very very pretty with that and then of course it goes perfectly with your more subtle tones as well too so during the week i actually wore this brooch with these amazing door knocker earrings these are so fantastic uh, with a chambray shirt so you know that's a perfect example of how that you can take something that you have exactly hanging in your closet many of us wear a lot of chambray I had it tucked into a skirt it was a super cute really easy just <clears throat> sort of flawless it was perfect for when we are in between weather and everything it's a great example of how you can use a white accessory with navy with denim with chambray the milk glass is always going to be another one of those sort of styles and pieces that are just perfect to invest in because they go with everything. So we've got the beautiful, gorgeous milk glass earrings. Uh, these are a nice size, nice shape, uh, not too heavy, not too light. Um, 
perfect for summer perfect as you can see i've got classic black on today they just really pop 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 uh, also these are set in gold so you can wear maybe just a little dainty gold chain necklace maybe if you've got some tiffany's diamonds by the yard or maybe an initial necklace or thing like that that you might wear on a regular basis these would be perfect uh, because they're not so over dramatic but at the same time they are a very nice well-balanced statement earring just a really fabulous fabulous pair so easy to wear with so many different things and they also go very nice with the other milk glass brooch that we have this is the large medallion style one this is another one that it's got the beautiful sort of pinwheel style to it great if you're looking again for something to wear with classic colors and then of course the white goes with everything so I'm a huge fan of the earrings tonight uh, be sure that as you are following along you tell us what your favorite pieces are too how are we doing? Is everybody putting down their answers for their numbers? Do we have a lot of people guessing here? Remember, if you're just joining us, pick a number, one through 100, and put it in the comments. You got one guess only so that you can win a gift card tonight to BMM. It's like our own little Easter egg hunt. We haven't done a giveaway in a while, so I thought it would be fun to do that tonight. Okay, let's talk about some of the other gorgeous pieces that we have this evening. Another piece that we have that's really pretty is we have this beautiful Aurora Borealis necklace. Uh, this one is a nice, shorter, this is a princess length. It's a 15 inch. This one is a really pretty one. Fills the neckline very, very nicely. The last time we had an Aurora Borealis necklace, I think actually the beautiful Sabrina uh, actually has that necklace. It like flew off the shelf. Like we barely, like we barely even took photos of it and it was gone. So if you felt like you had missed out on the Aurora Borealis necklace, this is a little bit of a different style that we have, a little bit of a bib style. Goes again very nicely with a lot of the earrings that we have, both the little pierced ones. Uh, it goes very nice with the little pearls and the little clips there's just a ton of awesome earrings that you can wear with this but this is a really gorgeous piece that we have and as you can tell tons and tons and tons of sparkle uh, of course that's not to be contrasted with it we've got this one which has got the sort of the more streamlined look to it we also have got this really awesome amazing looped collar one which this has been just a rare piece very very sexy on fills the entire neckline very three-dimensional tons and tons of crystals this is just an absolutely fabulous find really really chic now let me talk to you a little bit about some of the other pieces that we have so let's take a look back at the tray again we showed you that absolutely amazing blue set that we had we are talking a little bit about these really special really pretty pearls that we have some classic aurora borealis ones and now let's talk about these pretty little flowers that we have so these are uh, both enameled uh, but they are just absolutely Flawless. I mean, we have got both a pink and we have both a aqua blue one in sort of a Tiffany's blue. We have the most beautiful three-dimensional uh, painted enamel roses. And they really, truly are. They've got three dimensions. They have no wear to them at all. No cracking, no glazing. Uh, just really phenomenal. They look like they're actually sort of perfect little porcelain pieces. Uh, they go so pretty with so many of the other pieces that we have. Uh, we also have got a very sweet pair of patent pending earrings uh, that are very cluster style, very midge style. If you look, she wears a lot of those little clusters with the little gems at them. Uh, and the pink ones go very, very nicely with the little pink rhinestone earrings that we have as well. These are both really pretty sets that you would be able to wear together. Let's take a look at this up here so you can get an idea of the size and the scale these are just perfect and so another thing that I wanted to point out again is we are beginning already to talk about Mother's Day you know one of the traditions that we actually have with our own family is we always give my mom a Mother's Day corsage think about giving someone who's maybe special to you an aunt a godmother your mother something like this uh, as like sort of a wearable corsage all the time. These are just so pretty. This is the blue one. And like I said, it looks really pretty with the cluster earrings. They've got this really pretty, these are a patent pending made in America. They've got that clustered with the pearl and the turquoise. This is just a really, really fabulous, beautiful set. And then of course we also have the pink one, which the pink is also very pretty. The pink looks like a real rose. It's so gorgeous. 
So we've got the pink. Then for those of you who like more sparkly flower jewelry and sort of wearable garden type pieces, we've got a gorgeous larger pink rhinestone brooch and a smaller one. They look phenomenal and fantastic together. We also have got this very, very pretty pearl and it's sort of a very pink morganite colored pearl brooch. This one is a very sweet one to layer if you like putting clusters of things together. So think of your jacket. Uh, we actually showed this at J. Crew, and it was a very popular piece that we had when we were there. This one is a really pretty one. Uh, we also have got a really large, dynamic, gorgeous silver brooch. We've got this one. It sort of has a kind of mesh style detail to it. It's got a little bit inside. It also has a pair of matching earrings if you're looking to find something. I know we've got several silver loving gals, including our lovely Ann McIntyre, and I know that Sabrina, a few other girls who might be joining us here this evening, I know they like the silver tones too. So we've got this gorgeous silver piece here. We also have another large silver brooch that has the pink details that are on it. This one has got the pink on it and then it goes very lovely with these sort of pinky purple earrings that we have as well also. <coughs> so many beautiful pieces here, don't you think? Let's not leave out this very, you know, we get a lot of requests for people telling us also that, you know, that the rings that we have are always so big. This is a very teeny tiny, I want to say this is a size five. Uh, this is by Kenneth J. Lane. It is a vintage pansy ring. Uh, this one is a really gorgeous ring. If you are a size five, this is a phenomenal ring also. This has got the beautiful Diamante rhinestones going around it, and then it's got the lucite of the pansy, and then, of course, it goes very lovely with many of the other brooches and the other pieces that we have as well. How are we doing? Is everybody still putting in their numbers? Do we have anybody late joining us? Uh, if we've got some friends who are joining us here for the first time, uh, like I said, we are doing a great giveaway this evening. We have got Easter eggs that have got gift card codes inside of them. So if you want, please play along. Just pick one number, one through 99, uh, and then whoever is closest to it, we will email you the code, and then that way you can spend some of your little sparkle money at your VMM over and add something pretty to your jewelry box. Now let's take a couple look at some of my favorite other pieces that we have this week. Another pair of earrings that we have and we've got them are these really phenomenal spray earrings. Look at how gorgeous these are. So this is that true old Hollywood glam. These are a nice large spray style. Um, they're like an ear crawler. They cover the ear. They go all the way up. They've got a gorgeous sort of fireworks type thing. You kind of have to feel like when I, you put them on, like you're like the Siegfried girls, you know. It's got just that real opulent sort of shooting star feeling. It goes phenomenal with this huge Art Deco rhinestone brooch that we have. This is a, just a fabulous pinwheel style one. It's got the same sort of marquee and baguette set ones that we have in the earrings. We also have got a really lovely bracelet that also has got the emerald cut that sort of goes along with all of this. So let's take a closer look at some of these pieces. For those of you who love those classic rhinestone pieces, we've got quite a few this evening that are brand new that are just absolutely fabulous. We've got this huge brand, uh, flower brooch, which has got the domed setting to it, which is really lovely. It has got the both the marquee and it's got the round prong Can you shaped tell, ones. Tell people, hold on, tell people mm -hmm. to not choose the same number as other people. It's yes. gotta be a unique. It has to be a unique number. <laughs> Whoever has the first number closest to it is the person that wins the gift card. So we can't have like 255s or 261s or things like that. So try to pick a unique number. So we've got really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Art Deco pieces here with the crystals that are on it. Uh, and Leanne is watching to make sure that we've got people who are not doubling up on the same numbers as well. So you can't put like 16 numbers in also. You get one guess. So, and your first choice is the closest to it. So we've got all these gorgeous Art Deco pieces this week. We've got this 
big floral brooch. We have the big starburst brooch. We've got the petite flower. We have the chevron stacked ones. These really fantastic firework style. Uh, we've got these with the emerald cuts, which also go. So if you like something that's got the emerald cut that has got the matching to it, this is a really nice piece that we have here. Uh, we also have got a very sweet pair that are from Weiss. We've got some vintage Weiss, some flowers. It's got the nice accent of the mill grain detail on it. And then of course, many of these pieces all go very lovely with this braided silver necklace that we have here this is a really gorgeous piece too if you're looking for something to what? fill the neckline not quite yet mr. Michael he's so excited for all of you to see who's gonna win the gift card tonight <laughs> yes he's excited we got four of them so I hope that you all had a chance to get in some Easter egg hunts. It was a strange weekend here last weekend. We've had on Saturday, we had 70 and Sunday, and on Sunday it snowed in Chicago, but they're saying it's gonna be nice for Easter Sunday. We've got this gorgeous silver braided necklace. This goes really pretty with also all of the traditional rhinestone pieces in the Art Deco that we're showing you. So if you're liking something that has got either a lot of glitz and silver to it, if you like sort of that silvered patina, the way that it sparkles, this is the great one. Uh, the other thing that I really though like about this also is, is that it has a lot of fluid movement. So if you like a piece that sort of reflects of like a liquid silver type piece, or if you just have a lot of the classic Art Deco jewelry with the rhodium plating in it, this was a really nice necklace in order to be able to sort of complement some other pieces and some other styles that you have. So this one is a great one. We've got the really beautiful, these are absolutely just dynamic. Like you need to take a closer look at them on the website and someone needs to add these to the their jewelry box because they're not like any other earrings that we've had uh, and you know we do get like chandelier and dramatic earrings but we the ear crawlers or the spray styles like this not as much and these are of a really good quality no dark stones no missing stones nothing going on with them at all yes Alicia would like to know what the length measurement is of the cut glass necklace I want to say that the cut glass necklace it's hitting me pretty long so I want to say that this one is probably mm, you know it's so funny that you mentioned that I actually had a tape measure out earlier and of course I've moved it because we were cleaning up uh, if it's hitting me here I want to say that it's at the shortest it would be an 18 inch uh, I'm guessing it's starting at like an 18 and a 20 and like going down to like a 20 or a 22. Uh, you could twist it to make it shorter too if you wanted it to have be more torsade style also. Uh, but it has got these really lovely, if we take a closer look at it on the tray here, it has on the tray, what I do like about this particular necklace is it's got the strands have like a braided look to them, which makes it super fun. So they actually are little tiny, they're small silver beads that have all been, but they do have like, they're all kind of looped together. And then of course it's got the little button clasp that goes with it. And then of course it goes with so many of the earrings that we have. Uh, you know, I like the stacked chevron ones myself. I like anything that's got sort of that geometric peel. Uh, but it also goes very nicely with the weiss, it goes very nicely with the round, uh, and it goes very nicely with the bracelets as well too. So this is a nice one. I promise that when I get off of here, I will look on the website for the exact details. And then of course it goes very pretty with the bracelet as well. We've got those pieces. These are really fabulous. This is the sort of the silver pieces that we have. Uh, we're kind of winding down here. We've got some other pretty little pearl pieces. Uh, we've got a very gorgeous pearl paisley brooch, which has got a pair of matching earrings that go with it. So like I was telling you, my chic tip of the week is to treat yourself to a set because people don't wear sets very much. Uh, and you know, they always say things are too matchy matchy, but you can't go wrong with classic elegance. So we've got this gorgeous paisley set with the prong set rhinestones and it's got the gold that goes with it. Uh, we've got a very lovely, this is a thermoset necklace that has got the little daisies. It's a choker. Uh, we actually showed this off at J. Crew with a sundress and it looked really, really super cute. And it's very lightweight also. 
Uh, we also have got a very sweet pair of coral mother of pearl earrings. So if you're not looking to add a little bit of flash, of course, also we've got some really nice classic gold rose brooches. Again, I'm always telling people that if you wanna get that very high end couture style look, put a couple of the rose brooches together, very Oscar de la Renta or very Chanel, very Dior sort of styled. You could even mix in and add one of those little Aurora Borealis ones too. Uh, and then let's finish up this evening before we get ready to call our winners. We also have got these really amazing waterfall tassel pearl earrings. So there are a lot of great, fabulous earrings. Oh, we didn't talk about the rings either. We'll have to do that quickly. So we've got the beautiful waterfall pearl tassels with the Aurora Borealis. These are super fun, really great, tons of fun movement. There's just so many awesome earrings this week. There's the door knockers. Uh, there's the larger door knockers, which have got the rhinestones with them. They're like a starburst style. Mm, so many good earrings. Cannot wait to be able to go out and on the town and enjoy all of these. <clears throat> so let's take a quick look at the rings and then get your last guesses in if you have not given us a number yet. If you have not given us a number yet, if you are just joining us, please go ahead and give us a number um, so that we can enter you into winning a gift card. So here we go. We have got tonight in terms of rings, we've got this gorgeous white sapphire with tourmalines in it. And it's got this really beautiful prism cut to it. This is a new ring that we have. It's a very, very lovely piece. Uh, we've got this very nice, sort of we're going along with that 1950s, 1960s tone. This is a 1950s era. This is an Avon ring with a faux angel skeleton coral and rhinestones. This is a really pretty one. Uh, this one's a new one also. We've got this one. This one's a really nice, big, large one. For those of you who are looking for a large size and a chunky ring, this is with genuine tanzanite and genuine peridot, white sapphire. It's got this beautiful basket wheel style to it. I believe this ring is a size 10. This one is a great one that we have. Uh, we've got glitter lucite rings in both the sort of pinky opal and in the blue opal. These are really pretty, really super nice. Also, if you're looking for something that's more of a minimalist style, this is a great one. Uh, we've also got a nice pink Speaking of pink, so if you like the way that the pink goes together, we've got a very pretty West Germany adjustable pink speckled ring, or though this white sapphire one with the tourmalines is just absolutely fabulous. It goes with everything. It's definitely my favorite tonight in terms of rings. Uh, and then we also have like a pink glitter opal, which has got the sort of the pink sapphire side stones on the side of it. This one does have some higher prongs that are on it. And then we've got the rose gold with the pinks on the sides and the aqua crystals. Plus we've got a great band ring here. For those of you who like band rings, this is another one that's super pretty. We've got this one from Diamonique, which has got the yellow flower and has also got the CZs that are set with it also. This is a sterling silver. This is a really pretty, nice, wide band floral ring. Goes really pretty with pieces that are like this. It brings out both the gold and the silver or even the Aurora Borealis. So if you're looking for something that goes with everything, this is it. And then for those of you who like something that's a little more minimalist, a little more classic, we've got this very lovely, this has got the Marcasite detail with the Roman numerals, it definitely has a Tiffany's feel to it if you like that kind of style of look. It's got that Victorian revival, super fun. And we have this one this evening as well. So woo, that's a lot of jewelry, right? Okay, so, this week's collection is fantastic. There's tons of amazing pieces. You can't not spend a ton of time being able to look at them. You will love every single piece that you have and you will turn so many heads when you wear them. Nobody's going to have these gorgeous pieces like you. So. And remember, now even on the website, we even offer afterpay, so you can even break up your purchases into multiple payments if you need to do that. So don't be afraid to take advantage of that. Even Anthropology uses um, afterpay, so it's something that we've been working and a lot of people took advantage of it actually last week during the sale. So that's it, time is up. We are going to find out what our numbers are now. We're gonna go through, um, we're gonna, 
First things first, we're gonna call Mr. Michael over and Mr. Michael is going to help read the eggs and he is going to have to, what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna go through the thread. If you know that it's your number that we called, email us at, got this now? Email us at hello at vintagemeatmodern.com so we can give you your code. If not, we'll go through the thread after we get out of here and we'll hit reply and tell us how to compliment, how to contact us to see who won. Hi, Mr. Michael, how are you this evening? Good. How was baseball practice? Good. Do you have a favorite piece here this week? Mm, that one. Oh, we didn't even talk about these, but Mr. Michael wants you to know he likes the blue flower statement earrings. These are a great choice, Mr. Michael. You know what? They're nice and they're nice and large. Are you looking forward to the Easter Bunny coming? Mm-hmm. Yeah? All right. Well, would you like to help me open up some eggs? Yes. Okay. All righty. So go ahead here, Mr. Michael. I'm going to kind of let you scoot in here with me. I'm going to have my little friend join me. All right. Hold up the egg and tell me. Oh, we're going to do that one first. Give it a good shake. Do you have a guess? Uh, no. I don't know any of your friends. All right. Alrighty. The winner of the $20 gift card is number three. If you had number three, you win a $20 gift card. So we're gonna go through the thread. If you had number three, shout, I had number three. If not, whoever has the number closest to number three will win a $20 gift card and you will get a card emailed to you uh, with a code from Ms. Leanne or from myself after this. Okay, Mr. Michael, we've got two more to go. No, 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 I need your help now. Now is the time, my friend, now is the time. We're going to do now our next one. Give it a good shake. Okay, open it up, please. Ten. Forty, Ten dollars. Forty-two. Number forty-two. Number forty-two wins a ten-dollar gift card. By the way, these numbers were, I did not know the numbers. My children randomly picked these numbers after school and then stuffed them in the eggs without me knowing. So go ahead, pick another one, please. Give it a good shake. Oh, sorry. That's okay. You, you did a great job. Okay. What do we have here? We have twenty-five seventy-seven. Twenty-five dollars, number seventy-seven. Twenty-five dollars, number seventy-seven. Last egg of the night, Mr. Michael. Make it a good one. Thank you so much, by the way, for joining us all here this Shade evening. And it what do we is have? $10.25. $10 gift card if you had number 25. So let's just take a look at the tray just quickly so those of you who can see the numbers. We've got one $10 gift card for somebody who is closest to number 25 or number 25, one $10 gift card for number 42, one $20 gift card for whoever chose or is closest to number three, and one $25 gift card for number 77 or whoever is closest to number 77. If you won, please contact us at hello at vintagemeatmodern.com. If not, Leanne and I are gonna go through the thread here afterwards and we will reply to your number and let you know how to get in contact with us. For those of you who did not win, stay tuned. We always have amazing things going on here at Vintage Meat Modern. So we're very excited, of course, to be able to bring you nothing but the best in designer and vintage jewelry. Not to be overshadowed by our winners, it is now time to head on over to Vintage Meat Modern and to click the link above and to shop the Week 54 collection because all of the kinds, all the finds that we have here are one of a kind. They have all been hand sourced from all over the world and we have picked them because they know that they are going to help you look and feel your best and help you stand out and set yourself apart from the rest. So I'm Veronica Stout. I'm thrilled to have you here. Please go head on over to Vintage Meat Modern. Everything you see here this evening is at week 54. Uh, and I will wish you all a very happy Easter if you're celebrating. And I will look forward to seeing you all real soon. Thank you and good night.